Hi Leo, welcome to your mid-December 2020 general love reading. This is your girl mermaid scales tarot. Leo, I want to quickly mention that I do not provide personal readings at this time. However, I'm holding a contest to select one lucky subscriber to win a free 30-minute reading with me. If you're interested in winning a reading, open up the description box and you'll find the rules of entry there. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me here. I hope you gain insight and clarity in regards to what may be going on in your love life by watching this message. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Leo. This will not resonate with every Leo that watches this message. Also, Leo, not every message in this reading may be for you as this reading is general. Please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Leo. Who wouldn't be? I want to remind Leo and cross watchers that energy is fluid. Therefore, you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where the roles are flipped and reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles as you listen to the reading. All right, Leo, let's get started. Okay, Leo. Um, interesting. So, there was one message for some of you where I heard my heart beats faster when I think of you. And then I felt that heart beating kind of quickly. But I don't think this has been fully revealed to you, Leo. Because the next thing I saw was this vision of a beach. I don't know if you live by a beach, you live by water, someone else may that's in and around your energetic field that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you. But I saw this like, it was either like a whale tail or like a dolphin tail, like out in the like waves or the ocean, but it went back in. So I feel as if someone has hidden feelings for you, Leo, or someone hasn't fully expressed to you the depths of how they feel for you. And I feel like this is coming from a place where they're just I don't know if they think that you won't reciprocate these feelings or they think that, um, you know, you don't feel the same way. It definitely feels like a crush energy around you, Leo, but someone has a lot more feelings than what they're revealing to you. That is clear. So let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. That could just be a quick message. I'm here in May, the month of May. Someone could be a Taurus or a Gemini. Someone could have those signs in their chart. Um, but I'm also feeling something could have started around May or met you around May because it's like the month of May for some of you, not all of you. Let's get into it. What does Leo need to know about this person? Okay. Six of Swords, Aquarius energy. Some of you could have Aquarius in your chart. You could be connected to an Aquarius. Someone is definitely wanting to talk to you. Someone's moving towards you. Someone wants to move into a different take things to another level or take things to the next level with you, Leo, but it's all a matter of when they're going to finally express this to you. But there's fear here. Why? Let's keep going. Ooh, because they think you're the Ten of Cups. Pisces energy here. They think you are all of it, Leo. They think you're someone that they could eventually marry or be in a long-term commitment with and be very, very happy in having this relationship with. But they're afraid that, I mean, this isn't for everyone, but someone's afraid that this is just like a fling or just a sexual connection. And they may think that you feel that way, Leo. They could be mistaken. Maybe not. I don't know. Ooh. 
Interesting. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have Four of Pentacles. Someone's not fully revealing something here. And because of that, someone may be, you know, starting to not feel the same way as when you guys met because I feel like when you guys met, there was chemistry. There was a connection between the two of you. But at the same time, how long are you going to hold on to hope if it's not going to be revealed? But also I feel with this Four of Pentacles energy, Leo, especially with the imagery that I'm seeing in this card, someone just really thinks that this may not be reciprocated for some reason. I feel like there's just been flirting between the two of you. Um, very subtle flirting maybe. Maybe you work with this person and that's why things haven't been taken to the next level. Or maybe you work on projects to that together. You um, collaborate in some way for some of you guys. But they don't even know if you notice them, Leo. They don't even know if you feel the same way. And that's why they're blocking off their feelings. That's why they're keeping a lot in within them. They've definitely been to your house before. I don't know what that means. Um, or maybe they live like in the same area as you, the same neighborhood as you perhaps. This could be a neighbor for some of you that I'm picking up on. But yeah, I feel as if there's a secret crush going on here, Leo. Some of you may be aware of this, but a lot of you I don't know. Or you're aware, but you just aren't going to act on anything if they're not going to show you. Someone could have black hair as well I'm picking up on. And someone has like a replica of a famous painting in their living room. Unless it's the original copy, I don't know. But I'm hearing replica. Interesting. Someone could have a twin sibling I'm picking up on. Oh... So someone could be kind of blocking this or putting it a little bit off because someone's reminding the other person of someone's ex. Whether you physically look like this person or Leo, like this person is giving you vibes about your, like the same vibes from your ex, I don't know. But someone's holding back here. But what they feel, Leo, is that they want to move towards you. They're definitely feeling about what, in, like, feeling that there's something that they have to say to you and the longer that time goes on the more they're feeling the urge to do so now for some of you you may have had sexual relations with this person before but it's never really gone past that and perhaps when they first met you maybe they thought that's all it was going to be just kind of like a fun hookup but it's turned into so much more a lot more and I feel that they've been avoiding this truth that they've been meaning to tell you, some feelings that they feel about this when it comes to you, Leo. Um, someone could have hooked up in someone's backyard, I'm hearing. A lawn chair, perhaps? Interesting, or like a reclining lawn chair, I'm seeing. Um, someone could also have a fruit tree in their backyard as well. Could be just confirmation for someone. But the feelings are growing, Leo. The feelings for you. And someone's feeling more and more guided to say something about it. Because what they think of you, Leo, Ten of Cups, Pisces energy. That you are everything that they've ever wanted in a person. That when they're around you, they always feel like they can never fully walk away. Or it's hard for them to not text you the day after you guys hang out or to not call you or to just send you some sort of subtle indication that there's something there without fully revealing it. But it's, I feel as if they almost feel that there's a, some sort of big jeopardy here and a big risk should they reveal their, their feelings for you too soon then they would risk the chance of losing this opportunity with you in some way. Someone could be, um, like, have a collection of jewelry uh, or be in the jewelry business in some way or accessorize to the nines for someone. But, yeah, I feel, Leo, I, I, I get this worry if you feel the same way. 
or if this is something that you're keeping casual. It could be vice versa. But know, Leo, that when they think of you, they think that something could really unfold to a long-term relationship that they can see themselves being very happy in. Wifey has been material here all the way. And that someone's a good provider or sees someone as a good provider, they work hard and they work hard in their relationships. They see that this could be a really good partnership should this all unfold. I'm also hearing art museum too. Someone could work at an art museum or um, live by an art museum perhaps, especially if you're in a big city. What they like the most about you, Leo, is the Page of Pentacles. Um, this is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So, yeah, you're very desirable. You know what to do to get this person going. You are a very sensual person. You like to have your surroundings be very beautiful. You like the nicer things in life. Um, you know, whole quality good foods. When you go out to eat, you could be a bit picky about where you like to go. Um, I see that a lot of you like decorate your homes very nicely. It's very aesthetically pleasing. But you get this person's senses going. Touch, taste, sound, feel. You know, um, it's just, you got it all. And they find it even a bit worrisome how much you can get them going or how much really, I don't even think you guys know, and maybe they just don't put off that energy to you because they're trying to keep it secret, but really how much you could have them wrapped around your finger is kind of what I'm hearing. But they're keeping this all on the down low, Leo. They don't want you to know how much they're feeling for you, how much they desire you, really. Because in the Rider Waite, you see that like page holding that coin, looking at it with this desire, with this need to manifest. And that's how I feel they see you, Leo. But also with the Page of Pentacles, you make things happen. You're dedicated. You're loyal to what you want to give into something. And a lot of you, again, are very hardworking or there's some sort of success that you've recently been experiencing in career or that you're very high up in your job that they find attractive. And that could be a bit superficial. I'm getting there's a worry of superficiality here. Someone loves it when someone comes up from behind and kisses on them wraps their arms around them. You quench their thirst, Leo, it's kind of what I'm getting. And that's why they get so excited when you call or when they see a message from you or even when you walk by them, at Leo. But what they don't like about you, Page of Wands energy, Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. They feel sometimes, I, I just feel this like spark that like could be fleeting between the two of you. Like for an instant, you think, they think that this is going to go all the way or that something's going to finally be said, but then, you know, it never gets to that past that level, you know? Like you guys know there's chemistry there. You know that you both have an attraction to one another, but it's never seemed to cross that level. And so, I gotta say, Leo, someone may be worried that you may just think that's all it can ever be is this sexual attraction. I also get that um, someone could be much younger in a connection. You could be younger, Leo, or this other person, perhaps. And there's some sort of fear of immaturity that you see this person as, or maybe they see you as. But they just can't help but... I don't know, someone definitely likes someone's um, chest area, breast area. Definitely, someone could have very, very long hair too, male or female. Someone may like to pull on it, I don't know. But a lot of you, they're just worried if it, all it is is just a sexual attraction or this crush that both you guys feel, but again, nothing's ever been said about it. 
What they like the most about this connection, Leo, Seven of Wands energy, Leo energy. Some of you could be dealing with another Leo, perhaps. But it, it's as if there's some sort of element here of hard to get or you're someone that's hard to please, Leo. But they kind of like that. They kind of like how it's a strategy here to win your attention or to get you to notice them in some way. This person, I don't know, it's like when they hug you, they hold on a little bit longer than they should, but it's because they like putting their body up against yours. But I feel as if for some of you, there's this undeniable attraction, even if someone wants to block the feelings or block the desire or block the passion, it can't really, both of you really feel it. So whoever's doing the blocking, it's like the other person knows it's just an, an ego protection or a defense mechanism. And it's also kind of like what I get is that someone is trying hard to put it off like they don't care, but it's really obvious that they do in some way. I kind of want to clarify this Seven of Wands. Let's do that super quickly. Someone's favorite color could be orange. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. They feel like they can really bring this out of you, Leo, or they're really, really trying to get you to open up and trust, maybe. But Queen of Cups here, Cancer Energy. Um, someone has a hard time expressing their feelings, expressing their emotions. They're very, very guarded with that. And someone may just want to be protecting their heart. But they are willing to wait, Leo, I feel, for a lot of you. And even when there's times where you kind of put a wall up or a defense up, they know it's something that they can break down eventually with enough patience and time. Because the feelings are there. And the swan can resonate with someone. It could be someone's spirit totem animal. Someone could be seeing swans lately in some way. But there's just some sort of grace that they see within you, Leo. Some sort of re like regalness about you. And I'm not surprised with you guys being the kings and the queens of the jungle here. And someone I'm hearing can just imagine how good you are in bed if you haven't had that experience yet. Interesting. I'm also seeing polo shirts, polo t-shirts, or, um, you know, someone wears Ralph Lauren polo. What they don't like about the connection, Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So, yeah, it could be that you guys work with each other again. But others of you, they feel like, what if they put all this effort in and it still doesn't get noticed? You know, you're still not impressed. Um... They feel like they've been trying to get this going for a while between the two of you, perhaps, but it still isn't where they want it to be after all the work they've been trying to put into it. But Leo, I feel like they just need to show you something of value, something that is not just, you know, passions or feelings, but really something that you feel comfortable that they will commit to in some way. Um... Yeah, someone's just afraid this is a booty call. And someone is feeling a lot more than the other person is. I'm hearing French toast too. Don't know if someone had that for breakfast. Someone could be a French descent, but I'm also hearing Canadian, like French Canadian. That could resonate with someone out there. I don't know. Interesting. Someone could speak French. <laughs> I don't know. Um... Highest hopes, the moon, Pisces energy, cancer energy for me as a reader. Everything's going to come to light soon. That they may not see where this can head, but they're having a lot of faith and trusting in their intuition of perhaps taking this to a level. Someone wants to definitely have a romantic evening with you, Leo. If you give them this chance or this opportunity, they really are going to do whatever they can to impress you, get the best wines, order the best food, really dress up for you, put on their best perfume or cologne. Someone really likes expensive perfumes or colognes, designer perfumes and colognes. Um, 
but they really want to come out of the dark of this and really reveal themselves to you without fear, without worry, right? I do want to clarify the moon here. I feel as if someone wants to have New Year's Eve plans with you as well. What's with the moon? Why is this their highest hopes? Two of cups, four of swords. Wow, Libra energy, Cancer energy coming through here with the world card. Yeah, really make it known and really put themselves out there despite their fears to stop being this like, you know, insecure about it and just go for it and say that I have feelings for you. Do you have feelings for me? And really hoping that that's not going to end what's happening between the two of you. Damn, someone could live by a park as well. I don't know, I get the feeling someone lives in a big city or is from a big city, perhaps. Deepest fear is the tower. Ooh, Mars energy, Aries energy, Scorpio energy. Okay, um, this person can have a very jealous tendency, Leo. So the thought of you even talking to someone else or being interested in someone else would drive them insane. Okay, that would ruin their whole dream about you, their fantasy about you two being together. Um, they're worried if you are interested in other people. And they're worried if there's going to be no commitment here. Definitely. But yeah, damn Leo, just know this person's very jealous. Or a jealous person. And some of you that may have thrown you off a bit. They don't want this to end in a very intense, abrupt way. And they would kind of be crushed if this were to end. For the likely outcome of this situation, Leo, what's likely to unfold for you guys in the end of December, we're gonna go ahead and take this to the extended reading. But before we go, I will pull a Romance Angels card for you guys. And I'm gonna ask Spirit, what else is it that they have feelings for? Is there anything else that they want to say that haven't said to you? Anything that would explain their emotions or feelings towards you? Ooh, deception. Yeah, well, this isn't surprising. I don't feel like they're full on lying to you, but with the Four of Pentacles, the Moon, um, you know, Seven of Wands, there's a lot of holding back. There's a lot of not revealing. There's a lot of self-preservation. And I gotta say, Leo, if you think they don't care, that's a lie, they care. Um, but I also gotta say, Leo, with this deception energy, with playfulness here, yeah, yeah, this is confirming it for me. Someone's putting off the energy that they just want this to be casual and it's so much more than that but they're afraid to really take the mask off and reveal that to you should you reject them or should you you know, not reciprocate that same way. Someone's really afraid of unrequited love here, so they're still trying to play it casual. But again, the more they spend time with you, the more it's kind of urging them or spirits urging them to really fully open up to you, Leo, and say what they have to say, but they're scared shitless doing it. Wow, all right, Leo. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, where I'm going to overturn this card to see the likely outcome, what's likely to unfold at the end of December, and pull some oracle cards for you guys as well to add to this outcome, go ahead and join me at Vimeo for the extended reading, where you can find the link in the description box of this video. If this is where we depart, Leo, I hope that this resonated with you in some way, or that you gained insight and clarity in regards to what may be going on in your love life. If you did, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Leo, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Leo.